There you go, there's your quality options. Anyway, no, I super clicked on that fucking monument. It was literally the first place I checked. And the reason the ple uh, the reason that was the first place I checked was because as I was going to the fucking other monument, because uh, I thought it was the one in the garden where you find your mom's dead body, I saw that and I'm like, oh, I might as well check here. And then I fucking clicked it. And I was like, really? It's not here? Huh. And then I went to the fucking garden, and it wasn't in the fucking garden, so I went to the fucking dock, and it wasn't in the dock, and then I look it up in the fucking guide, it's a good fucking motherfucker. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, six moves. That wasn't Miku's mother. Oh, was it not? Oh. Miku's mother died the same way she remembered it. That was the wife of the researcher who moved into the mansion to study the rituals. Okay. Easy. Uh, Ryozo, yay, Mikoto. I think his name... Yeah, Ryozo is a character's name. I don't remember who his fucking is, but his name... There is a character named that. I should go save, right? Nah, fuck it. YOLO! Oh, that is not... Oh, that is not kosher. Oh, God, that is creepy. Giant Buddha here. It's right foot is dead. Oh, shit. These are like giant statue versions of the Buddha statue in the... That's weird. Okay. Buddha's a symbol of peace. Japanese horror, are you sure about that? I don't know if I would call Buddha a symbol of peace. There's a strange white mask that looks on the altar. This is the reflection mask. I can't describe its facial expression. It's very strange. Hi.
Uh, I would call Buddha a symbol of enlightenment. A symbol of Buddha. <laughs> That's not wrong. Speaking of Rios, oh, that's him. Yeah, I figured. You know if you hold square the camera moves faster? I most certainly didn't know that. This fucking teleporting is so goddamn annoying. Yeah, wow, on just on top of me. I genuinely feel this game is more luck than skill most of the time. It's worse when you gotta fight him in the area with thin walkways. I, he's usually not this, b oh no, this is this guy. God, he has so many hit points. the Type 37 film. Never! I don't want to waste it.
Oh, I got a mask of reflection. Is the mask of reflection what gets me through the door, or...? Okay, let me try two things. One, we're closer to the mask room than not. So let's go over to the mask room. Shove the shit in the mask room. And if that doesn't work, I'll try using the mask of reflection to get inside of the other room. Pretty sure the mask of reflection mimics a different mask. You can take the other one with you. Is that what it does? May have to consult the good old game facts. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go through. Take that mask down. Oh, do we just have to get all of the masks? Wait, so there are four masks, right? We can take this mask down. We can get our hands on the joyful mask. I don't know where the last mask would be then. Not actually what I wanted that to do, but it'll work. I actually wanted to put the original sad mask back up there. I would rather keep the mask of reflection. This door seems to have a key. Fuck, I don't know where that goddamn key is. Fuck it. I don't give a shit anymore. Boss battle. Return to the square garden. Oh no, I know that tone. A rage has boiled over. Sag's about to do some furious searching. <laughs> Like, I'm not, I'm not, like... Where's, which one's the square garden? That's the cherry atrium. Where's the square garden? That's the square garden. So there's supposed to be a mask in the square garden?
Okay, I understand how this works now. At the very least, I understand how this works. So with this, I can always get through a wall unless I have the wall facing in the wrong direction. So I guess I missed something? I guess I missed something in the square garden. I don't understand why I can't use the Mask of Reflection if it can duplicate any mask to just duplicate the missing mask. I guess because I couldn't get through the door then? Time to do some Google fail. So it says... Uh, one, it said I'm going to get attacked by a wandering ghost in the square garden. And two, it said go back to the square garden. So here's the square garden. Let's see what happens. I'm fucking here. Supposedly, I'm going to get attacked. Okay, I guess I missed a mask at one point. I guess I missed a, missed a mask? When did I miss a mask? I don't have the key to get that other mask down. Hang on. I'm supposed to have the angry mask. All right, well, let's get back to the doll room. Hidden pass. I've already gotten a hidden pass. Library. What 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 do I have? I have joyful, sad, and happy. So yeah, I'm missing the angry mask. So the angry mask I think is supposed to be in the doll room? keep getting hung up on, like, literally nothing.
What was my last save? Uh, joyful, sad, and happy. How do I get... Damn tooth is... I, I, I thought you'd already went to the dentist. The angry mask is the one you get into the mask room. What's not still on the fucking wall, is it? I did. She put a temp tooth in place. Now I'm waiting for my new press to get ready since the old one decided to crumble. So it's still bothering you? Yeah, go. Get me through the fucking door. You know, now that I have the fucking mask of reflection, what I would really appreciate is if the game would let me just use these fucking secret passages as goddamn doors now. God fucking damn it. It's not the right shape, not meant to be, it's just a temp, but it feels weird in my mouth. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, did I ever get the joyful mask? Yeah, I did. It's protecting the pin that's in place, ready to anchor the new prosthesis. Okay. Alright, I now I probably would have figured that out faster, but it has officially been over 24 hours since I've slept, so there you go. This is not even... I, look, I would be more coherent if I was fucking drunk right now. So that food and bacteria doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Something shiny at my feet. It's a spirit stone. Zach needs a big gulp. I haven't had a big gulp in forever. Uh, pretty paper shade lamp is lit. The walls are glazed. The whole room looks at B-A-U-T full. Can we get a night two? Wow, that looks comically evil. There is a mask, looks like an eye mask on top of a... I thought it would be like a flat mask with like two spikes sticking inward from the internals, not a mask with two literal spikes through it. I mean, if that's what your fucking mask is gonna look like, why not just put spikes through their eyes? No, because the mask is, I know, symbolism. Shut up. There's a mask like an eye mask on top of glazed altar. Here's your fucking murder mask. There's huge stakes through the eyes. The mask is different from the others. Maybe it's supposed to be used somewhere else. Bitch. 
I love, I like that the game is trying to not give me a hint, but we are well past me not knowing what to do with this fucking mask. Do I have the map of reflection in my pocket right now? This ritual is so evil, I'm surprised no priest was like, yo, wait, hold up. Yeah, 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 the strangling ritual. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Gotta kill ghost mill for the ghosts to stay in the ghost house. Why do I not have my ring of my mask of reflection in my pocket? Oh, I do. I'm, uh, blind, apparently. <laughs> no shit! Was it? Wow! Yo, why the fuck is the angry mask hanging back up? You use the mask to open the big door at the end of the chapter. You do? Bitch, get off of my dick right now. Uh, since that's a severed head, I assume Ghost Milf gets decapitated. I assume that's a less flattering version of Ghost Milk. Chapter 3 is pretty short. Chapter 2 was long as shit. And apparently Chapter 4 is only 30 minutes. What I will say is if we hit Chapter End, though, I will be going to the bathroom. Um... And I know it's crazy. I'm still going for it. <laughs> Let's stop with the dick. <laughs> Never! Commit to your gimmick. My gimmick is dicks. Well, do you remember you ran around not knowing what to do? I... You mean the entirety of Chapter 2? <laughs> I do remember the entirety of Chapter 2. <laughs> I love how that... Even though this is a different stream, that has not stopped being relevant. Y'all, I'm motherfucking lost. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I suddenly understood everything about this mansion, and now I'm like, where the fuck am I going? Chapter 3, not actually that short, if you have literally forgotten everything you learned five seconds ago. That was a terrifying sound. <laughs> okay, why won't the door work? Okay. The big door is in the hall in the rubble room. The fuck is the rubble room? You mean the death chasm? I know these rooms have proper names. I don't care about them anymore. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I take that back. Saying any more implied that at any point in this game, I attempted to know the names of these rooms. I usually just call them outside, doll room, that one place, death chasm, that fucking hallway with the stairs in it. Rope room. 
Water Room. Mask Room. I think that one was actually canon. The docks, which I don't even think are actual docks. <laughs> I think it's just a pond. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle. So, sack this or dread out? Oh, um, okay, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say about this versus dread out. I'll say the same thing about Dread Out. Now that I did after playing this, which is that Dread Out had the potential to be a really great game. Like, Dread Out, if it was better made, would definitely be better than this. But, like, Dread Out was, like, broken and buggy and had a lot of, like, bullshit in it. Whereas this game, like, functions. So, yeah, definitely this. No offense to Dread Out. Um, like I said at the end of that, uh, like, I would love to see what they do next. Because they definitely have potential, but the, it was just, like, the game itself. Like, it even had trouble running for a lot of the stream. And it also had the worst puzzle. I'm going the wrong way. I am going the wrong way. I am doing that. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, you're not, you're not incorrect. But Dreadout has the big girl, he kept trying to look at her panties. Now here's the thing about that. Is you're right, but I was more curious because I do that in all of the games. I always try and see if they're wearing panties because I wonder because I wonder if the developers bothered to put them on or if they're just like like holes into nothingness or if they're like Mass Effect Three where it's just an infinite black void. Um, and as a counterpoint to Big Girl with panties, because you know Giantess isn't really a fetish of mine. Uh, this game has Ghost Milf, and I don't know how you one-up Ghost Milf, but, uh, Dreadout didn't. Or if they're fully rendered. Yeah, exactly. I, there was a, uh, I remember, I don't know if you saw, uh, this part of the Resident Evil 4 playthrough, but, like, uh, Maid called me out, and she's like, uh, uh, she's like, yeah, you can, uh, get yelled at by Ashley if you look up her panties, and I'm like, oh, really? I never tried and she's like how have you never tried you look up everyone's panties and I'm like I the thing is is I normally do that because I wonder if they make the panties uh, and I know for a fucking fact they made hers because I won't stop showing them uh, what game was it uh, that would be that had fully rendered vagina uh, uh, several uh, but I imagine you're referring to uh, Watch Dogs 2, there was a prostitute who had, um, uh, uh, like, slit, uh, panties, uh, so that you could see her vagina, and they patched that out of the game. Uh, and I think, I, I think Ubisoft made an apology about that. But yeah, that was, uh, that was Watch Dogs. Watch underscore dogs. Oh, is the fish tank room up? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. I am uh tired. That's that's my defense for every time I do something really stupid like that. <laughs> when I realize, "Oh boy, was I not anywhere close to the right direction." Actually, I have a very bad sense of direction in video games. I don't know why.
Oh shit, the Hellgate just opened. Now everyone's gonna get superpowers. I have a good sense of direction. Yeah, I clearly... I'm very good at, like, puzzles and shit, but... My god, I could not find a puzzle. If it, sa if, if it would save my life. Uh, I can read maps in video games, but I have no fucking clue what to do if you give me a real map. Well, video games have the benefit of always... You can always know which way north is. I could, pro I could probably read a real map. You'd have to give me a compass, though. Good news, everyone. I saved. Better news. If you hit the select button... What? Oh. Uh, uh, other good news, if you hit the select button, it just pulls up a map. The entire time. This has been a thing the entire time we've played this. And I have just now remembered it. And I say remembered it because at one point I already knew it because I used it last stream. I gotta say, I kept expecting a ghost to appear in this hallway. I'm genuinely more surprised that I'm surprised that there was a ghost in this hallway. Okay, so that's as much of a bullshit as I thought it was. He, he just does not appear until he is on your ass. He didn't have a fucking zero. There we go. It's like you didn't know you could move faster with square. Uh... Uh, he didn't know which way he was going, but you can bring up the map with select. No, I, I knew last stream you could bring up the map with select. And I forgot it this stream because of probably the sleep deprivation. Uh, I never knew you could move the camera faster with square. <laughs> that was genuinely new information. Hurry up and lunge at me. I want to get my fucking zero shot so I can get my points. Thank you.
Get fucked, old man. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't get it up anymore. Oh, shit. Sack's being mean to a ghost for again for no reason. Makes ghosts more visible. That actually sounds useful, but... Fuck that. Get ready for another boss fight. Made. I'm not even surprised anymore is the thing about that, so... <laughs> I'm always ready for another boss fight. Are you assing my fuck right now? I demand, game. I demand you stop assing my fuck right now. Wow, this is annoying. Close range, no zero shots. Teleporting right on top of me. It's like the game is making me scrub through this fight. Are you fucking with me right now? What is happening? Behave yourself, sir! Wow! Yeah, wow, okay, there's no... There's no zero shots with him, is there? Just put him in the fucking ground. This fight is, like, so irritating. Damn it! Are you f oh, God damn it! Make this fight stop!
All right, we're doing it. We're scrubbing him down. We're scrubbing him. I'm figuring out how to fucking hit him, at least. Yes! Yes! Okay. See, fights like this make me not at all regret cheating as hard as I can. Yeah, I fucking know that. Maybe don't attack me and I'll get through the fucking door faster. The ending of chapter two when it comes to boss fights. Another one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the implication that you've just given me. Yeah, I, I want to say, like, this game has a lot of irritating bullshit. It's not, like, a bad game, though. Like, I, I mean, it's definitely not, like, my favorite horror game. Not that I'm any horror game expert or anything, but... A huge door is in the way. It doesn't seem... Maybe it's locked. What if I shove a fucking bloody-ass mask through my eyeballs? I bet that would make it stop.
I assume there's another one. I assume I have to do this more than once. Characters engraved on the wall. Use the blinding mask. Yeah, use it. I changed to type 37 for extra DPS. This is not a game where DPS is... DPM! Well, maybe stand to the side when the arms come out, huh? You don't want to get grabbed by the fucking Full Metal Alchemist monster. Oh, okay, yeah. I love underground Shinto shrines. I have a very good history with finding them. Yes! Yes! Hello. It's been a while. Oh, I want to watch you in slow motion, baby. She, uh, does not have a... me, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm waiting for you to have the realization that Ghost Milf isn't what you think. I mean... I don't fucking know. We'll find out. Slot 2, bitch. Calamity. This place, I'm pretty sure Mafia went through that door. Mafia. 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 Oh, that's our brother. Okay. Mm. 
It says unknown, but there's an estimation. Look, here's what I'll say, right? Here's what I'll say about that. Is that she's been dead for like 200 years. So really, she's the one robbing the cradle is all I'm saying. Is all I'm saying. All right? All right. Ghost milf. I gotta go to the bathroom. We made it to chapter three. Y'all didn't think I'd do it. I fucking did it. We're, we're gonna keep it going. You didn't think I would say that. We're gonna keep it going. All right, I am back. Let's see. Uh, a real question. Will Sack make it to the end? Uh, we will have to see. Um, it, as a recap, anything I do wrong in this playthrough, I have not slept in what is now... 26 hours. We are at 26 hours. So, yeah. If I come back here, can I see Ghost Milf again? Well, that's literally horrifying. Herbal medicine, I'll take it. I thought there wasn't any herbal medicine in uh, Chapter 3. Spirit Stone. Guess I missed it. Fair enough. 
Hey, it's my for you. Don't you recognize me? Bitch, I'm a ghost. You're lucky I have legs. <sighs> the Calamity. In the year 1837. 1837. Made 1837. On the 13th day of the 12th month, the strangling ritual failed and caused the calamity. Malice escaped and 1,347 souls were lost. 1837. Sounds like a ghost milf to me. One hundred forty nine year old guys, there you go. Now I need to, as you say, get the fuck out of here. Nah, there ain't no luck in that. That was all skill. No, I mean, it actually was. I did time it. Uh, where the girl pointed, there's a book that uh, seems to belong to the folklorist. Moon Shrine. The small shrine in the atrium of the Himoro Mansion is called the Moon Shrine. It enshrines the maidens who were sacrificed in the rituals. Inside the Moon Shrine, all of them collectively. I wanted to be clear on that. Inside the moon shrine is an empty well called the moon well. The moonlight shines down to the bottom of the uh, on the night of the ritual. The rope shrine maiden is supposed to purify her body with moonlight at the bottom of the well. The bottom of the well is connected to the basement and only the maiden uses this path to reach the basement. According to legend, the first rope maiden was buried in the moon shrine. However, no body or documents were found inside. I wonder where the first rope maiden was enshrined. Well, I'm going to go back to my Type 14 film. Literally, what is a special function? Is that like New Game Plus shit? This might actually be very useful. Just like thinking about it, like if this does, if this is like the tracking shot that Pache talked about, this could be invaluable in a fight, especially with all the teleportation. It could take the guesswork out of finding a ghost. Can I buy both of these? Enable pressure, yeah. Not yet. I could switch on the fly if I need to. Munakata. 
Munakata's like a character, right? Who the fuck was Munakata? Munakata was the folk wait, was the folklorist. Oh, so he's in the Hell Mansion. Or the Hell Shrine. Whatever, I'm leaving. Alright. Sounds like a fucking explosion every time I go through there. Blah! It's fine. It's just the hell gate. Take that fog. That's my camera's power up. My camera's power up is that I can slow time whenever I fucking feel like it. And I can speed it up. And also I can reset. And also... I mean, that's it, really. My camera has the ability to control. I can take pictures of time. That would be nuts. Can you imagine taking pictures of time? Am I gonna regret filling up my fucking memory card one day? Yes. Am I gonna do it? Yeah. Yup. Can't press these fucking games not to break on me. Even though it's uh, never hap- it's only ever happened with Final Fantasy VII. Some other place shows in the photo. That is in this room. You wonder what is all in the memory card. I don't know. Maybe we'll check it out afterward. Is that not in this room? I think mostly horror games at this point.
So that's Kyrie. I honestly would have thought the one on the left was Kiri if I was looking at them, but I guess so. This, I guess that's Kiri, and the one on the left is Minako. And Minako is just trying to help find her family, her her childhood friend. Uh, no, this is a rubbish heap blocking a door. Wait. No. Hope Twitch is merciful on Monday. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yup. Yup. Yeah, are there multiple ending or are there like ultimate personas or social links or Multiple endings or something I need to worry about. Ultimate weapons. An accessory you can only get if you shake your booty three times at the dog, and the dog's like, I was behind Silent Hill the whole time. I'm actually a special reporter. Working for the Daily Beagle. Trying to find out what's causing all these ghosts to erupt from the hell gate. I work very in tandem with Chinese Electric Batman. Okay, uh, well, considering I'm relegated to a straight fucking path, one, I don't know why this fucking picture is required for progression. And two... Dialogue choices that get you special skills. Okay, so I'm gonna need those. <laughs> Fuck me. Is that really where my last save was?
All right, let's look at this carefully. A bunch of rubble, a bunch of notes. A bunch of junk into a wall. The only idea I have is There we go. There we go. That was annoying. That was only there to annoy me for sure. So when do we get to the point where, like, the mirrors are, like, doors to other rooms? Ugh. Shocked there was no enemy there. Hello, mama. Come here often. Yeah, that was my bad. She can fight me any day. All right, yeah, yeah, we'll play this, I guess. Oh, type 37 to refill my type 37 stock.
There we go. Malice souls lost. Oh, isn't it like uh, 1,347? Something like that, one of those numbers. Get ready to try and pronounce a bunch of Hindu words. Don't worry, I'm great at almost doing that. Here's what I will say. This game is like kind of repetitive to the point where I kind of knew where to go just based on the fact that I've already done it a hundred times. Was that a my lightning bolt or a game lightning bolt? I can't even tell. Whoever did the fucking lightning sound effect blew it out of the fucking water there. You're in a grown ass woman. Old well lit I can't see inside. Can you not open this? Okay. I, I like how now that I've done, like, game requests, uh, Mondays during Horror Month still make sense, because it's the most terrifying game choice of all. One I didn't make. Uh, no, I, I am hoping for, hoping for the best. We'll see. It sounded interesting. At the least, the story sounds interesting. I, I don't... Do I have to? Do I, like, actually have to, or can we not? Alright, I definitely took a picture of you. It seemed like before I'd almost killed all of the ghosts in the level, and the game almost just let me walk around freely. Can we get back to that? Can we get back to all of the ghosts are dead, and I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like? Oh, I don't even remember a rhetorical question I asked. Oh, do I get to just kill all of the ghosts?
God fucking damn it. Then stop attacking me! You're doing it to yourself, bitch! My god, you have health for days! Alright, she's dead. Yay, I won. I'm the champion. God, that lightning is so realistic. I keep thinking that's my lightning. Oh, stone mirror. <sighs> Type 90 film. Two sheets. Ooh. Hi, mirror. It's a big mirror. Wonder if it means anything special. It means it's a big fucking mirror. Nothing in here. Wait! Get fucked, Takamine. But not by Ghost Milf. She's mine. Yeah. Wait, what are you? I've never even seen that ghost before. If anyone thought that my fucking turbo wasn't gonna get me hit by a ghost, I... You've been not been paying attention. No, I would try and preemptively photo it, but I know better. Yeah, it won't let me. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the ghosts not existing until they do. Wow! Oh my god! That fucking monk is so shitting fast.
Wait, is he still alive? You've never seen this ghost either? Or you're just reacting to how I've said I've never seen this ghost. I've never seen this fucker. I've never seen Monk Ghost. Who the fuck is Monk Ghost? And what is this special function and how do I unlock one? Next time we encounter a ghost, I want to try search versus I, I want to I want to see the effects of search versus pressure. So next ghost is now an experiment. Don't worry. We'll find the next ghost in this room. I actually didn't think I was joking. I am glad that worked. Nah. Nah. I don't care if I die, do I? Because I'm just going to reload no matter what. So I don't think seeking is very good. That's what we're learning. Yeah, seeking just... Seeking just finds it temporarily. It's not what I actually want, which is like what Pachi described, which locks onto their face.
Which means I, I think push is going to be the best one. Because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need distance more often than not. Like distance, distance and tracking are the biggest issues with this game. Oh, uh, thirteen twelve. Yeah. Cool. I'll take that. Nice samurai armor. Nothing? Okay. Nope. Okay. So, w this room actually had no purpose last chapter. This is just like a bonus room. At this point. Sacred water. I don't know what that does. I think that's like a good healing item. Down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. Oh god, while I was going down the stairs? Get fucked, ghost milf! The one game where down, uh, we're down a ladder like a person saw- yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll crawl down. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, I got hit. Uh, there was nothing in here. All I got was a sacred water and a fight I didn't need to pick. Can I? <gasps> I got another herbal medicine. Oh, my God. I've just learned a secret. That's been there the whole game, I bet. Oh, man. Now we'll never know what was over. Oh, man. I bet it was even cooler on the early nights. Fuck. <sighs> All right.
So I feel like the only real hint we have right now is the well. But we couldn't get down the well. What am I fucking doing? Just look it up. Just look it the fuck up. Oh, you get you get score when you okay, I get it. Oh, the one in the atrium, right. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's head over to the atrium then. I don't want to fight the murdered people. God, but they want to fight me. Fuck. Someone begging for donations while doing nothing. Give him quality options. What about some guy taking pictures of ghosts? Does he look like an Instagram model? If not, fuck him. Uh, well, we do have quality options, so there is that. Alright, what do we got? Why does that look familiar? Why does that look familiar to me? It's a huge altar in the Buddha room. Yes. All right, Buddha room altar. What is the quickest, easiest? Well, are all the doors unlocked? If all the doors are unlocked, Square Garden is the fastest way to the Buddha room. If not, please don't make me redo all the fucking puzzles. Oh yeah, it says it's unlocked. Here's the funny part. I actually... Well, I tried. Here's the funny part. Uh, I gen... I tried to... I, like, I never went through the effort of unlocking the Buddha room. So I, I like that the game's, like, day state just did it for me. I'm sure I have some kind of boss fight. <sighs> Ceremonial rope. There's an old scroll on a staircase. Document on the bind. Show the maiden no mercy. Uh, you ever, uh, that video of some lady sitting down doing nothing, talking about why you have to pay to watch live streams? I have seen a few videos like that. Cast the rope on her limbs from the right arm, then the other. From the right foot, then the other. So, right, left, right, left. 
sure, dude. What, do I just go back? Now that I have this? Going by the map, the correct order? Wait, what? What What do you mean going by the map? Oh, I have to place these on Buddhas for some fucking reason. She called herself an entertainer and I'm like, you're literally doing nothing. I mean, I I will say she she probably is an entertainer. Even if she wasn't doing something at that exact moment. I'm not going to I'm not going to judge the woman's content. What is that right leg? Left leg. Which one is right arm? Oh, is it the literally the missing arm? Is it this one? Right, Buddha. That was wrong. Left arm. We are gonna get shit blasted in a second, apparently. Right leg. Left leg? All right, are we ready? Hey, good news, everyone. We are at uh, 27 hours. Teal carving. Okay. <laughs> Boss fight. That man is wearing a literal demon mask right now. I love how that man... Like, it's like the 1800s, so the guy clearly doesn't know how to use a fucking katana. So he seemingly just bashed that dude with one. Is that a game freeze? Nope. You die, fuckface. Why the fuck am I doing this in anything but slow motion? I actually need to get away from the wall. Fighting ghosts, here's the here's the thing. It, this game is realistic and that fighting ghosts near a wall seems like fucking suicide.
God, he gets up in your shit. Bad timing. I like that this ghost doesn't do a lot of teleporting. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use the sword, though, which, since this ritual took place in the 1800s, I really appreciate that he's no fucking clue what he's doing. Because why would he? Okay, he was in his zeroth animation, but he didn't give me an opportunity to use my zero. Now we did. Seriously, what are special functions? Mm, should I save up for Paralyze, or should I just buy Slow now? I would rather have Paralyze. I think Paralyze is the most important one. Okay, so from here... We can go unlock the final butt plug door. See, I told you we would go faster as we go because I know more shit. Uh, I once watched a samurai movie set in the 1800s. So I was like, wait, samurai around in the 1800s? Thought they were more of a medieval thing. They actually were around in the 1800s. Samurai were on the way out in the 1800s, though. Um, I think the true... They were declining even into the 1800s, but I believe the true decline was around 1837. Samurai Clan Poo took place in the 1700s. Samurai Clan Poo takes place in a very ambiguous time period because the rebellions that the um, Samurai Who Smells of Sunflowers took place in happened in, like, the 1500s. Or 1600s. Early 1600s. I have witnessed great debates on when the fuck Samurai Clan Poo takes place in, only to realize it takes place every time period. Um. Okay, seven of these, huh? This is a lot of movement. But yeah, around the uh, uh, 1830s is when the crackdown on samurai started hitting hard. Uh, I believe that was when the Tokugawa shogunate fell. Yeah, we have European soldiers very poorly attempting to take over with very 1700s looking guns. <laughs> Ex yeah, exactly. Or the ba the entire baseball episode. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, that's easy to get there. So I think the big one is trying to get this piece into that hole. So...
Uh huh. I see the dilemma. Samurai Clan Poo, it takes place anytime it wants. Well, yeah, also, uh, uh, um, not, not Mugen, the other guy. The other guy in Samurai Clan Poo. He met Musashi, but then was like, oh, he's been dead for hundreds of years. So, who knows when Samurai Clan Poo takes place? Um... Now, that would have worked, eventually. Uh, Alright. Let's think... Of, oh, wait a minute. That changes everything. As I found it funny during the first episode when it shows modern day, it's very clearly American City and record scratches it way back to Japan in the year uh, 1XXX. This changes everything. Hang on. Move that piece here. Move this piece down. Move this piece here. Damn it! I need to swap these two pieces. Damn it.
Hmm. Damn it. Okay, hang on. That won't work. Uh, okay, let's try moving this here. This here. Moving this here. I don't think this is going to work either. I think this is going to involve too many moves. Moving this here. Moving this here. Yeah, that'll take too many moves. Okay, hang on. Let's try moving this here. This here. This won't work either. So is it Game Thunder or Real Thunder? I'm pretty sure it's Game Thunder. Hmm. Yeah, this won't work either. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Not Sleep Deprived Sack would have figured this out by now. Down, up, down, up. Damn it. That's close. That's close. Yeah, I realized I stopped thinking uh, and just started clicking buttons. All right, what do we need to do? Let's 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 identify the difficult positions. That piece and that piece are the big issues. So these two need to reverse. So how? What's the fastest way to reverse these two pieces? Triangular rotation would be the fastest way to reverse the pieces. But I can't do a triangular rotation because I need one of these slots to be freed. Wait, not necessarily. One. Two. Three. Four. 
four, five. Woo! <laughs> Get fucked, teal carving. We should be worried that that's in there. Folklore is research documents. The mystery of the cabinet and the moon well. The moon well inside the moon shrine is hidden behind the moon trick mechanism. The cabinet moves and opens the moon entrance to the moon well when a moon routine has been performed. But I have no idea how this is done. There is only one vague description of the device. Acquire the symbols from the four rope pullers and show the Himuro family master seal. This must mean that the opening the door requires the symbols carried by the four priests participating in the ceremony and the Himuro family's master seal. However, now that the family has ceased to exist, there's no way of knowing how to acquire either the symbols or the seal. Well, luckily we have ghosts. The four symbols are acquired from the rock. That one is acquired by the tombstone. Yup. But what's the last one? I have no idea where that is. Nothing on the master seal, huh? Okay. Get fucked, yeah. Oh, okay. What? What?
When the creator of this ritual told his fellow priests about it, what you've just said is the most evil thing I've ever heard. I will now meditate for hours to be rid of it. You have failed me, you failed yourself, uh, your priest, sir, and may Buddhist blessings be with you. And how he got kicked out of you now one of those big fancy mountain temples. Well, they used to put, like, dead bodies in uh, some buildings. Uh, if they were, like, super cursed, to make them less cursed so that the dead person would watch over the building. Well, all I'm saying is there's a lot of, like, fucked up Shinto rituals. The weird part about this one is that the Shinto is that it kept going into, like, the 1800s. But it was early 1800s, which I think is, like, the last possible point I think you could get this ritual without someone being like, mm, we're not doing that no more. Uh, Kiri has been acting very strangely ever since she met, uh, the young guest. I do not suppose she is attracted to him. She becomes too deeply involved with this world because of him. She may lose her potential as a proper shrine maiden. We'll have to do something, and quickly. I think it was, uh, Nobunaga who, uh, buried one of his enemies... Uh, you know, underground with just his head over it, and he had like a wire wrapped around the guy's neck uh, so that when anyone passed by him, uh, they could like pull on the wire and like slowly cut off the guy's head. I'm running out of type 47. So actually, before we come back here, I need to get to a save point. And that's not a Shinto ritual, that was just an interesting history fact. Then there's white people, we built a church out of bones. See? There you go. Everyone's culture has things they'd rather not bring up again. Some people build churches out of bones and fill their sewers with literally countless dead bodies. And some people um, slowly saw off a guy's head and throw people into part of the construction of a building so that their building is less cursed because that makes your building less cursed. I was talking about Paris, yes. Oh, I'll bring along Kyrie, all right. Oh, you don't gotta tell me twice, baby boy. 
You just tell me when and where, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker has two modes. Walking forward untouchably. Oh, I'm wrong. You cunt. I was gonna say walking forward untouchably. And zero. Yeah, you're really fucking pissing me off right now. You annoying asshat. He's just like untouchable until he goes zero. Did he just... Am I paralyzed? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, you are correct. I was gonna say asshat and then switch to asshole and then it came out as asshow. Alright, is this the bone church? Oh. You know, I thought the entire thing would be made of bones. I'm a little disappointed about the lack of bones. The ritual failed, the mansion's filled with malice, and that malice has made the master lose his sanity. Who would have thought this calamity would happen? And now is all, uh, it's all over now. There's no telling what'll happen if we don't find a way to close the gate before it opens completely. Gosh darn it. Give me more film. Watch as I defeat the final boss with just 47. That I don't think is... I, if I have heard correctly, that is actually not possible. The lack of bones. Meanwhile, there's skulls are everywhere. Ah! I expected more skulls. I mean... Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of bones. But there could be more bones. Oh, are these doors just doors now? Well, I don't want to be in this fucking room then.
Come here, Mansion Designer and Spencer Mansion Designer getting together to build one Super Mansion. <laughs> Spencer Mansion? Here's what I will say. Spencer Mansion is a way tighter construction. Like, there's no wiggle room. You always know where to go next. Um... Himuro Mansion construct, uh, but it's also got more puzzles, and the puzzles are more complicated. Uh, the fucking Himuro Mansion designer gives you a lot of space, um, but nothing to fucking go on. We really want to fuck with people. We'll throw in the main character of Deception. God, I don't want to... <laughs> I really want to do deception at one point. But next year, next year, 2021, is the year of Assassin's Creed. Maybe. Yeah. Why did you become attached to this world? You only suffer. She can become attached to me if you know what I mean. Um, at least up to Revelations. Maybe three. I don't know about three. I don't like three. I'm just taking damage. Unavoidable damage. What? We followed the master's orders and hid the guest. I told Kyrie our guest had gone home. We have to carry the body far, far away so that Kyrie never finds out. Felt sorry for the poor man, but what else could I do? Priest must protect the rope friend made at no cost. He's invincible. All right. Well, now I know how to fight him. The the I mean, the answer is there's like no zero points. I've just got to like put him the fuck down as fast as possible.
Got him. Uh, almost got GTA 5, but RE2 Remake takes up less memory space. Well, I haven't played GTA 5, but I would guess you made the right choice. Yeah, that guy is a motherfucker. Biggest uh, fear with buying PS4 games is if they're bug at launch, because if they are, then I'm screwed. Well, hopefully one day you'll get real internet. And then you don't care you don't have to worry about quality options. Okay, that guy is a fucker. God damn. So it didn't matter that I went to go get ammo then <laughs> in that case, because that guy is a fucking nightmare no matter what. Haven't played GTA 5. Isn't that what the poster behind you is? No. San Andreas. And Vice City. And Assassin's Creed Revelations. And Bully. And Assassin's Creed 3. And I think there's a fucking Final Fantasy. There's like a lot of shit back there. Just by single player games? Well, her problem is she can't update the games. What you gotta do, Maid, is you gotta get yourself a nice copy of Assassin's Creed Unity. Can I just run? Fuck! Damn, you were so fast with that. Well, uh, uh, even single player games have issues like Shenmue on PS4 is so broken without a patch you can't even play Shenmue 2 uh, here's what I'm going to say about that Shenmue is bad and the reason why Unity is because Unity is a very famous example of a game being virtually unplayable at launch so see the joke the joke is that that's the exact opposite of what you should do with Yakuza. Your face has failed! This motherfucker is aggressive!
Fuck me! Got him. That's all four. So, now, do I have to... Oh, I actually have to... Okay, I have to interact with the monuments. That's what I wondered. No, wait, I've been picking them up. I believe now that the master's decision was uh, the poor one. Kiri has realized we hid the guest. Kiri is depressed and anxious. The day of the ritual is fast approaching. I hope and pray everything goes well. Now, do I just have to get that piece of paper? Okay, so you really just need to take the picture. Okay, no problem. Done and done. Alright, I think I'm going to save here and use this... Speaking of broken single player games, 28 seconds. Okay. I'm going to take this opportunity, after I check that out, to go to the bathroom... <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's how you dodge an attack. Wish I could do that. <laughs> Alright. Poor porcelain. I'm sure they'll fix you. I have to go to the bathroom.
Oh, fuck, I'm back. All right. Uh, holy shit. Okay. I am gonna go to sleep right after this stream! Hey, I did it. I didn't get into a fight. I want to investigate this headstone to make sure I didn't miss something. Okay, good. So I think I just need the priest's writings. And, like, the picture. And I think that's enough. The problem is I don't have... The Himoro family sign. Symbol. Uh, what? Epic Mike, thank you for the host. Startled the fuck out of me. <laughs> Holy shit. What? The... What? Uh, alright, let's check out priest writing. No, we already read that. <sighs> oh, shoot. Uh, Joe Sips, thank you for the host as well. Um, so this one remothered glitch where the guy had to restart after getting caught by Chaser, but then the Chaser spawned in during the scene prior to sliding around. Huh. So it just, like, so it spawns in, like, so he spawned in and then he was grabbed by the Chaser... Um, and, like, what, he was, like, stuck in the grab animation, and then the chaser, uh, uh, spawned in in that scene and then just slid around? Is that what happened, or? Oh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. That isn't helpful, huh?
I feel like I didn't need to fight these dudes to find out these symbols. If they're just going to be buttons on this cabinet, I can mash at random. I don't like that. Mmm, mmm, not a fan. Red liquid appears out of the hole in front of the cabinet. Okay, follow the blood, I guess. Oh shit, that blood was here the first night of the, uh... Yeah, we saw this blood. Spots of red, like blood, run along the wood. Yeah, game, I can tell. This is the one time you didn't need to fucking tell me. <laughs> yeah, we saw this blood the first night. You're not dead from that? Oh, okay, so when I went through this door, I managed to drop it to just one, which is useful. Hey, we did it. We made it to like 30 hours without sleep. Yay, I guess. Is this going to finally take me to the samurai armor? No, it will not. Oh, this takes me to sexy ghost room. Big pool of blood in the middle of the room. Right. Oh god, this guy. You don't know how to use a sword, and you're crazy. But not the I know how to use a sword kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Why does this man have so many hit points?
Wow, he has a lot of HP. Is he regenerating? Oh my god, he's regenerating. Ow, he cut me. Wow, he cut me even from a zero. Master Seal. I wonder if this is the end of night three. Like, do all I needed to do is go down there and then, bam, final night? Yeah, that's the burial room. I can't find the video, but in it, the chaser gets him, so he sends him back to the last checkpoint. So two characters are talking, and all you can do is move the camera. Huh. Apparently, if you run really fast and really far away like a huge coward, the ghosts can't get you. Apparently, I'm fucking lying. Next thing you know, the chaser spawns all stiff. Sliding around the room shooting while two characters are talking. That's actually kind of funny. Cool. Uh, I don't think we can upgrade our camera in that way anymore. I think it's just basic function, right? So in that case, let's go paralyze. Yeah, paralyze is probably better. Um, slow. 
No, let's not enable slow. And then all we have to do is save up for C, and then we'll have our maxed out camera except for a special function, which I don't know what that is. In another scene, one of the chasers kills a dog, and the dog's model just floats up. <laughs> okay, that's always funny when that happens. I insert the master seal into the open hole. Like to insert my master seal into Kiri's open hole. <laughs> hey! Okay, we all knew I was going to say that. Gotta bathe in moonlight before they stab my eyes out. I'm surprised the chapter's still going. It's, this felt like the end of chapter puzzle. Again, Act 17, but it was the 1800s. Exactly. She's like 200. That's legal. female mummy enshrined in a hollowed rock here. The holy mirror is on a stone in front of the mummy. There's a recess in the stone. Something was removed. This game takes place in the 80s. Good enough! Now, see, I don't know why she's running. I would stay down there. That looks like where I want to be. Girl, climb faster if you're gonna do it. Even with all the ha grabby hands? Mate, that's just spice to the bedroom. I feel like this stinger there was supposed to be stop me, but like... I mean, yeah. Bam! End chapter Kyrie. Y'all didn't think I'd do it. Y'all are like, Sack ain't gonna fucking finish. He's gonna pass out live on stream. Hadn't happened yet. Hadn't happened yet. Oh, this one's in color. Ooh, they were all in color. I'm crazy. You're crazy. He says as he pounds caffeine. <laughs> I don't know what that instrument is. Oh, it's a Kodo. Okay. Regular Kodo. There's nothing special about it. Am I supposed to play something? Yeah, girl, play the fuck out of it. I don't know. Uh, wow. I love that my hint is Kodo. And I'm like, mmm, gotcha. N yup. Yes. Yes? Visible force is holding it shut. Well, let's look at this twinkle. Kodo sheet music. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't. I don't even think I could read real sheet music. You expect me to be able to read Japanese sheet music? 
I picked up the coder sheet music. It's an old song, but I think I can play it. I hope you play it automatically. <laughs> I hope it's not like, figure it out, fucker. Can't I just play it on the gramophone? Play it on the gramophone. Oh, thank God she knows how to play classical Japanese instruments. Even though I'd be snorting protein powder right now, but this'll do. I, I imagine that was from... Uh, uh, P4 Arena. Or it could be from PQ. Hey, I made it into the attic. The one room everyone forgets exists. Light is shining through the hole. I'd like to shine a light through Kyrie's hole. Wow! Yeah, even the head was like, Ha! Ah, you thought I'd stop? I ain't ever gonna stop. Get fucked, Kiri's rotting head. Fuck yeah, herbal medicine. I should start using that. Instead of running around on half health like a fucking maniac. Fuck yeah, people. Right into the shower room. It is legitimately into her dressing room. I don't know. Say, like, boss fights, how about fighting multiple ghosts at once? So, what you're saying is the Type 37 comes out tonight? I have not even seen Type 0 film, by the way. I just want to mention that. Y'all have claimed there is Type Zero film. I haven't seen it. What's wrong with the sound during the cutscenes? Shouldn't be anything. Like, I couldn't imagine anything being wrong with the sound unless I dropped frames or something. I have dropped zero frames the entire stream. Sound volume is on. It's only at half. I I have I don't know. I'm hearing it fine, which is the weird part. You can move the light with the right stick. I can move her with the right stick. That sounds broken like when YouTube kills audio for copywritten music. No idea. Type 90 film. I have not seen Type 0 though. I am unconvinced it exists. Maybe that's just what the soundtrack sounded like. In that scene. 
I will say the uh, sound was a little. So the sound, the like the song for that was a little Draken Guardy. Guess that's only the Type A control. Guess it. So in our, so in other words, Type A controls gets an ass load of features that fucking tank doesn't. No, to be fair, I think I could get all those features with tank controls, but I'd have to like really play around with it to figure out what does what, and it doesn't sound like like just fucking deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna fucking deal with it. I don't need these features. Time God. Sounds fine on your PS2? Huh. Well, I don't I don't know. I didn't even hear a, a sound issue. Maybe it was Twitch fucking up. Is that the binding ritual? There's a painting with frightful colors. Could it mean something? Can I take a picture of it? I can, and nothing happened. The, um... Pigman. That looks like the Pigman from Hell. Um... Why do I want to say Gozu? Big mirror. Maybe all the mansions have mirrors some ritualistic meaning. My game, game ditch is scratched and won't let me finish. Oh, that really sucks you can't finish, mate. How far can you get? I need to resurface it and dragon guard. Yeah, I don't know. Cutscene audio sounds fine to me, though. Looks like a diary on top of an old desk. The strangling ritual will be held soon. Okay, we need to talk about something. We need to talk about this classic Shinto ritual. Um, if your ritual is called the strangling ritual, I'm not saying don't strangle the child. What I am saying is that maybe you shouldn't call it the strangling ritual. That tends to put people off. Call it um, the sealing ritual. You can beat Kyrie, but the cutscene gets all fucked up. Oh, okay. The master and the priest are performing their ablu um, abl ablutions, uh, and it looks like the whole family has gathered here at the mansion for the ritual. This mansion is usually so lonely, but for today, anyway, it's busting with life. One of the priests was staring at me today. He looked so sad. I'm the rope shrine maiden. I have a very important obligation to fulfill. But how can I perform my duty as shrine maiden now, feeling the way I do, now that I've found out the true joy of living, now that I've gone and gotten that poor man involved? Well, now we know why it failed. Piece of the Holy Mirror. Just everywhere. There's just all the pieces of the Holy Mirror. Kiri's hairpin. I get a beautiful golden hairpin. Maybe it was Kiri's, that woman in the prison. Oh. Our brother looked like Ghost Milf's boyfriend. Another scene was fucked up. I was initially worried my PS2 was kicking the bucket since the internal clock died around that time, but since then I've played uh, other PS2 games. No issue. Kiri and Mafuyu? No, it's not him. Maybe it's the man she loved when she was alive. Old diary written in charcoal ink where the Holy Mirror used to be. Uh, I was looking out the window today. I saw somebody walking in the garden. He didn't notice me. He was just walking around leisurely, gazing at the trees and hills. I saw him again today, walking in the garden. He saw me once, too, and waved to me. I don't know why, but my face got hot, and I ducked out of sight. When I told the chief priest about it, he was terribly surprised. He told me I wasn't to look out the window again for a while. Can 
can see the backyard well with only one window. The only connection to the world. Oh, hello! Yeah, that didn't do any damage. Wah! Wah! I should have let her kill me to find out what happens. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try water well. Because then she has to bathe in moonlight, right? Sacred water. Plot twist, mouth for you as a time traveler. Shit! Never saw that shit coming. Uh, he was from the 1800s, but then the aliens picked him up, dropped him off years later. He did fine until his old girlfriend's ghost killed him. So now the aliens, lonely with no friends, go to America, pick, uh, picked up a guy named Henry. That explains why the secret agent dog was looking into it so hard. That is called a callback reference. You had to be paying extra attention to the stream to have gotten that joke. Shit's locked. Silent Hill 4 has no UFL ending. Boo! Sounds like Silent Hill's the worst one! Bam! I am killing this endgame. On accident. I am guided by my love for Ghost Milf. Sacred ropes wrapped around a stone pillar. For that good bondage, you know what I'm saying. There has never been a better time than right this moment to change to Type 37 film. You did the thing to open the thing. Yes, I did. I like how even the game's like, nah, you gonna fucking need this.
Yeah, I have a full fucking funeral procession after me right now. Wait a minute. I've done it. I have done it. I have maxed out my camera. you time it right you can get them at the same time i do know that but i honestly at well one i've just maxed out my camera and two at this point i am more concerned with surviving there is a funeral procession after me dear miku don't ask how i fucking got here when i died in a hallway i know it's weird but i see you sometimes here in the mansion I run after you, but I always end up losing sight of you. There must be some kind of warp in time here now. We'll probably never be able to see each other again. Were you worried about me? Is that why you came? How the fuck do you know I got it? Well, because I'm reading the note. I hope you get this note. You hope I get this note? You should hope I never fucking see this note. You should hope I never came into this fucking mansion. I need you to help me. Ooh, the force behind the curse of Himuro Mansion is a woman named Kiri. She was sacrificed in a ritual, and her sad spirit was exposed to the malice that spilled out of hell when the calamity happened. Now she's a miserable creature that taints everything she comes into contact with. Uh, she can taint me if you know what I'm saying. Apparently, I remind her of the man she was in love with. I somehow just knew that when she touched me, and she can touch me if you know what I'm saying. I plan on going to see her now if she can come see me if you know what I'm saying. If I don't, uh, this mansion will keep on claiming victims. Kiri laments her ill-fated life, but at the same time, she also regrets not having been able to fulfill her duty as the Shrine Maiden. I saw the image of Kiri as a child. She was looking for somebody to help her, to help her other tortured self. Kiri is like a person divided in two. Miku, I want you to help Kiri if you can. You have to seal off the Hell Gate with the Holy Mirror. He left the note because he sees you the same uh, way you see him. But I thought I was seen as ghost. Okay, this is, without a doubt, the most evil looking room I have ever entered into a horror game. I mean, like, genuinely get fucked, Silent Hill. I feel like she would have died before no. she. No. Like, cause she she would have she would have been strangled before her head got ripped off. Hey, baby. I'll put you out of it, don't worry. He isn't dead, you're in a uh, different, I don't know how to explain it, like different realities. Oh, okay, we're in like different time streams. Oh, I thought he was dead. This device probably pulled the ropes tied to the Shrine Maiden. 
That's stupid. He should be dead. <laughs> Did I die? When did I die? Oh my god. I died. Oh my god. She can kill you that fast? Anyway, did you get the note from him explaining how to connect uh, to this story? How you connect to this story? I guess not. No, not probably not yet. He was just like, yeah, I don't know. You need to fucking figure this shit out. I assume I'm like the reincarnation of like Minako or some shit, whatever her name is. The like buddy character. Or I'm her reincarnation, but that wouldn't really make sense because she's a ghost, but I don't think this game cares. It isn't stupid like that. Okay. Well, I do know I'm connected to my brothers because we have twin magic. Uh, and I know that he's like the boyfriend. So... Miku and Mafu powers unite. I would have went with Wonder Twins personally, but fair enough. Door is nailed shut. Now, please tell me what part of the ritual required ropes to be hung from the ether? Girl, I'm into it, but like, fucking cool it. That shit for the bedroom. Uh, something's reflecting. It's some sacred water. I'd like some of, uh... <laughs> like some of, uh, Kiri's sacred water, if you know what I mean. It's 4 a.m. Don't make hard questions. <laughs> it's been thinking about the camera Mom left us. Uh, I know it was Mom's, and she left it to us when she died, but she used to belong to Grandma Makoto. Okay. They say it was the only thing Grandma brought with her when she uh, was adopted by the Hinasaki family. 
In some documents I found there in the mansion, there were notes about a little girl named Makoto, the same name as her grandmother, finding a camera with an uncanny power. And then I found that Makoto's mother, the folklorist's wife, um, died the very same uh, way Mom did. Okay. Wait, what? So our grandma is the f folklorist's wife. No. Our grand so our great grandmother is the folklorist's wife who we came here to get? I thought this guy came here like two weeks ago and then disappeared when Mafuyu came. I'm confused. No, 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 no. I think I I think I uh, conflated something there. Um Door is nailed shut. Murphy, this doesn't affect me because I have a hammer. Uh, let's see. Makoto is the same name as our grandmother. Finding a camera with uncanny power. So our grandma was the, uh, I think, the attendant. I think that's who Makoto was, was the attendant to um, Kyrie. And then I found out that Makoto's mother, the folklorist's wife, nope. No, I'm confused. Died the way, that can't be the same Makoto, then. Died the same way Mom did. Mom was no match for the ghostly power of that camera. It drove her mad, and she had to leave this world. Now, if that camera is the same one Makoto's mother had... So Miku and Mafuyu's grandmother is the daughter of the folklorist who found the camera and went missing. But I thought the folklorist went missing like two weeks ago. Mom was no match for the ghostly power of that camera. It drove her mad, and she had to leave this world. Uh, that we got. Now, uh, now, if that camera is the same one Makoto's mother had... Um, anyway, I don't know all the specifics, but I'm pretty sure that camera is strongly connected to the curse of this mansion. Oh, I'm thinking, okay, I'm can I'm mixing up Takamine. I'm mixing up Takamine. I'm mixing up Takamine with Ryozo Munukate. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. All right, no, I I conflated uh, Munakade with um, Takamine. Okay, well, in my defense, that's a very easy thing to have done. And then, so this, so this is Mikoto Munakade, Munakade. Yeah, so this is Grandma, and then Grandma. Now I understand why this is here. <laughs> And then, and then Grandma popped us out. No, that's not us. Where is us? There we go. Okay. Had this, and then they had us. Okay. Okay, alright, okay, we got it, we got it. I thought, okay, I hadn't realized that the folklorist and the fucking novelist were two different characters. They both write books, they both came here to study the fucking magic of the mansion, they both have ist in their title. <laughs> Grandma popped out, the mother popped out, yes, got it. Got it, got it, got it. And that explains why, uh, Yae looked so much like mom when, when when she killed herself and that's why we thought it was mom okay got it figured that fuck out didn't know they were the same character didn't know they were two different characters that explains that I was like wait a minute how old was grandma when she had us
he looks like a dog boy. Woof woof doggy. Damn. If only you kept that boy out of here, the hell gate never would have broken open. Now look what you did. Now you're leaking hell everywhere. It's gonna be pretty hard to clean up all that hell you leaked out. You're gonna have to get a magic camera and psychic twins. There's gonna be some suicides involved. It's just not a pleasant experience. So this is the Hellgate, huh? It's the Malice. I can't go any further. I'm gonna be honest, I thought it would look more terrifying. I am the luckiest man in the afterlife right now. My life is great. Please do not save me. I am with Ghost Milf. I mean, you put me inside you, baby. No! Alright, is this a real boss, or is she just gonna fucking obliterate my ass in a second? The fuck is happening? Is she taking damage? I can't even tell. Is this is this a fight or is this a puzzle? She doesn't seem to be taking any jo uh, injury. Okay, it claims she's taking damage. She's not taking any visible damage. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to fight her?
Okay. Whip out your Type 90. Okay, so this is a this is a fight then. Apparently, she can one shot you. So I need to watch out for that. Don't touch me, which is something I never thought I would say. Got her. That did a lot. Oh, but she regens? Do I have to stand my ground? Yeah, I guess I have to stand my ground. Yo, she regen. What? What? I thought you reloaded. I did. Yeah, she regens on teleport? What? Am I missing something? Looks like you reloaded multiple times. No, she's reloading on teleport. Damn it. Part of one of the things is I have to reload multiple times because the game freezes every time I pull out my fucking camera. Yeah, okay, this is a known and unfixed emulation glitch. Oh, this is gonna be fucking painful. Motherfucker.
Got her. Well, that fight was a pain in my ass. Wait, so... Did the camera just break? Then how- oh god, the camera broke. How do you get it in the second playthrough, though? Like, in- in, um... Two. And three, and four, and five, and... That shitty mobile game. It's the last piece of the mirror. It's a different camera. Okay, when I put all five pieces together, the mirror begins to emit a strange light. I feel strong spiritual power coming from the mirror. I need to use it to seal the gate. The rock has a recess in the center. It's about the size of the holy mirror. Well, that explains why it looks different. Aw, oh, yeah, get fucked, Kiryi. Please? Hey, I was in a different timeline somehow. I don't know, fuck it. One guy in Fatal Frame 4 fights off ghosts with flashlights. That's how you fucking do it. Fist fight. Goodbye, Kyrie. You were the hottest ghost milf ever. Like, distractingly. My duty is to keep this gate closed. Are we gonna be okay? We kind of missed a sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah, didn't we miss the sacrifice to the Hellgate? But what about you? I must stop the calamity. Or else it will happen again. Yeah, but no, seriously though, like Don't worry about me. You must go. Don't we have to do this like every hundred years or something? <sighs> Isn't the time for another sacrifice in like I must stay five minutes? Can we double dip on fucking sacrifices, or... Do we only have to do this once every 200 years, and we just have to deal with a little bit of malice every once in a while, or...? Miku, you go on without me. Okay, well, I don't care about the brother. The whole time Kyrie was guiding me, I could hear her screaming. I'd like to hear her screaming, if you know screaming what I mean. Screaming for help. Never mind. As the rope shrine maiden, she was destined to seal the gate. Yet she also wanted to be with the one she loved. <laughs> but she couldn't have both. And was How many goats are worth one things, pure maiden? Which resulted in the calamity. Her spirit was touched by the malice, and she became a creature that wanted to make others suffer as she had. 
now free she can touch Malice, my malice if you know what I mean. about to fulfill her duty as the rope shrine maiden until the credits roll that won't her stop soul must remain here keeping this gate sealed off for all eternity all alone endless pain as long as she is free of pain as long as she is not left hopeless I wish to be by her side Miku. but you have like flesh so you're gonna die in like 11 minutes you got crushed by a rock dude Their souls are all going back to where they belong. Except our brother who just got crushed by a rock? Miku. I now realize why I was brought here. Maybe they should go to all Resident and Evil and slam the mansion of the truck sequence. Miku. Thank you for everything. Dude, really soundly, my sister Ever for some ghost pussy. Day, I don't blame him. Seeing things that other people don't see. Because now everyone sees ghosts. We really should not have sealed the Hellgate. That was fucking. That was fucking Fatal Frame. No one, no one believed I was gonna beat this game tonight. Especially not me. But here we are. Shout out to character design Zin. It's like Zun, but one letter off. Um, uh, yeah, okay, let's talk about this game. Um, so, the most obvious comparison I can make would be, uh, uh, Dread Out, which was very obviously inspired by this game. Very obviously. Even the, like, bamboo section is very, uh, of this game is very similar to the tutorial of Dread Out. Uh, this game is way better than Dread Out, though. No offense to Dread Out. Um, it's interesting how you have to, like, solve certain sequences with the cameras and how the cameras help you uh, uh, solve the puzzles. And I do appreciate that the game actually does tell you where to go if you're paying enough attention and not fucking conked out of your goddamn mind on what is now 31 hours without sleep. Uh, so that's good. Um... Not, I feel like it, it gives you a, like a large area to explore, uh, and it's not as tight as Resident Evil. Um, and the, the puzzles are very simplistic for the most part, but I don't recall any one puzzle being specifically like, like bullshit. Like, I, I, uh, the biggest instance is when I clicked on that fucking, uh, was the hidden rank D fuck you game fuck you that's a fucking C rank playthrough if I've ever seen one um uh, oh I should write down this playtime so I can put it in uh, how long to beat it is 8 48 32. D for dumbass. D for dumbass rating is what it is. Look at all those points. I maxed my camera out. I got 222,000 points. What the fuck do they want from me? Um, anyway. Uh, I bet, I bet clear time has more to do with fucking... I, we almost never got hit either because I cheated really hard. So I guess it's all about clear time. Um, which it's my first fucking playthrough. Fuck you for giving me a D rank at my first fucking playthrough. What do you, what do you expect me to do? I fucking solved some, most of those puzzles pretty fucking fast, giving me a fucking D rank. You know what? Fuck this game. It's a piece of shit. It is worse than Dreadout. No, um, <laughs> no, uh, none of the puzzles really felt bullshit except for the, like, pillar where I clicked on it and it just didn't want to give me the fucking item. And I had to click on it twice from a different angle and it was like here you go and it had re the game has really awkward hit detection um i'm not going to criticize the controls too hard uh they they did feel very awkward at times and very unresponsive 
Um, but some of that could just be an emulation glitch, although I could only... Well, yeah, I guess it could be an emulation glitch. I was going to say, I can only imagine that my computer would be responding faster, but then it has to go through the emulator, so... Um... Uh, I got B rank in RE2 remake, which is crazy because my rank in the original was C. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, so yeah, the game felt really unresponsive. Sometimes I'd hit the button and it just didn't fucking give a shit. Uh, and you had to be in very pre precise areas to, like, pick items off, even off the ground. Like, the instance with the tombstone wasn't just, like, the one instance. Like, I had that happen to me several times throughout this. Uh, so it was definitely an awkward feeling game. Even with, like, the tank controls, it sometimes, like, swayed weirdly. Uh, but what I will say is that the combat was interesting. I would have liked to see a little larger of a window on some of those zero timers. Some of them it gives you, like, seven decades on. Some of them it only gives you, like, six, like, like a sixth of a second. Like, not even a full second. Like a, like a minuscule second. Barely any time to even react, even on half speed. So I don't even know how you'd fucking hit those zero points. Unless you, like, know the tell and, like, so well that you could just always hit it. Uh, the enemies in this game are the biggest problem. I think it's the biggest thing that holds it back. Is I feel like they're invisible for most of the fucking time. Um, they teleport around crazily. So they physically do not exist inside of levels until you get to certain parts of the levels. And they can teleport inside of you. So you're already hit by the time they just, like, appear. Um... Yeah, there's just too many of them. They're too frequent. Um, you eventually get to use to some of those patterns, but they can, like, stay inside of walls for minutes at a time. And all of these can, like, compound to some fights in the game. Some fights in the game that are just unbearably slow and fucking sluggish. Um, I think... Told you... Sorry. Uh, I, I definitely think that the... The, like, the ghost designs are okay. I always heard that, like, Fatal Frame 1 had some uh, really good ghost designs, but I thought they were mostly okay. As far as horror games that we've played, this is uh, not scary at all. I I don't, I they believe this game did not get a single scream out of me. The only scream this playthrough got out of me was when I got hosted unexpectedly. Um, the, the characters are kind of flat. The, by kind of flat, I mean I know fucking, fucking nothing about them except for Kiryi. That said, really like Kiryi. Not just like her design, which we, we know, we know. Uh, but I, I do like how, like, her younger self is helping you out the game, even though I don't fully understand how she's split in half. Uh, her younger self is helping you throughout the game to help you get... Uh, to what you need to do. She's not a very helpful younger self. She usually just points, but the game is very subtle with its hints, and uh, part of me can appreciate that. Um, but I but I do like the story of, like, a tragically trapped Shine Maiden forced to seal the gates of hell uh, because, I mean, if you don't, the fucking gates of hell open, and you don't want that, although apparently they were open for, like, a hundred years and almost nothing bad happened, so... Did, did we need to seal the gates of hell? You know, we probably could have just put some fucking tape around it and just said, hey, don't go in there. That's where the gates of hell are. Yeah, it leaks, but it contains itself to a fucking mansion. And they're like, oh, can I go into the mansion? Not if you don't want to get fucking strangled by a really hot MILF ghost. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, overall, I think Fatal Frame is a game with a, a lot of problems. But it has a lot of good points, too. And I think the story is actually pretty interesting. Nothing, like, mind-blowing, but, like, this whole, like, ancient Shinto ritual, which I know is, like, the fucking gimmick of Fatal Frame, um, ended up coming out really well. And I and I, I, I think that, like, the fact that it's not just, like, some obscure evil ritual, but there's a purpose for it, and, like, it does something... And then at the end, we actually kind of had to do part of it because it does something. And there's, like, meaning to the action. So it's not just, like, slapped together. Like, there's actual deliberate symbolism placed inside of the ritual uh, is, is is really interesting. I think, I think where this game shines more than anything is not its horror elements, 
or its characters. Fuck, it's not its characters. I think it really shines uh, on its uh, story craft. And, yeah, I, I like that. I don't know. Fatal Frame is a pretty good game, actually. Um, so cool. Kind of jank of shit, though. <laughs> you know who could have solved all this case in one night? M- Makoto Nayagi, Sherlock Holmes, the Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters just sucks everyone up. Battle mode. God, I don't know what that is, and I don't want it. A special function is now unlocked, and a new costume is added. I really want to know what those are. But I'll probably just look them up on YouTube, because I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. I say as I boot up the game. They have nuclear ghost rays and traps. They lay waste this entire mansion. Kill all targets in the given... God, God, that sounds terrible. Oh, they have a soundtrack mode. Costume, normal. Costume, special. Difficulty. What difficulty was I fucking on? Did I play this whole game on normal? I wonder how long it's been. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Nobody cares. The forbidden rituals of Okay, Himuro is just Himuro. Nobody gives a shit about Himuro. Looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. Yeah, 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 nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. This game's OST is mostly ghost sounds. I, I think it had some pretty good soundtrack. Let's just try and get through this as fast as possible. Just because I want to see our, I, I want to see our costume and shit. This game has normal and hard. Oh, okay, so I did play it on normal. Ropes! Oh my god, that was my fucking type. Oh god. I captured a ghost with this camera. Oh, okay, this is cool. Has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. So what's my special function? I remember the incident. Zoom! Oh, that's cool. Oh, and I bet depending on how you play it, you unlock new special functions. Okay. That's fun. It's been two weeks. Okay, so this is like a schoolgirl outfit. Nope, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like a schoolgirl outfit. It's like a schoolgirl top with like, no, it has like a tie, but a leather jacket. And so this is not a school. So it's got a tie and it's like a bolo tie, but not really a bolo tie. I don't know what. I don't know what that, like a scarf kind of thing. And uh, like a leather jacket and a jean skirt and some fucking boots. Okay, well now we know. Um, all right, so before we quit out, there was the question of what's actually on my fucking memory card. I don't know, let's find out. Uh, no disc. <laughs> let's find out. And then we'll add this to the favorites list. And I guess we're going to start doing Amnesia.
This contains Fatal Frame, Silent Hill 2, Clock Tower 3, Drakengard 2, Silent Hill 3, Rule of Rose, and Silent Hill 2. Now we know. All right, Fatal Frame, based on a true story. Where are we putting this fucker? Okay. A lot less than I thought. Hmm. This range. To this day, some people believe like that. Okay. All right. Definitely definitely the the Dark Souls 3 to P4 range. Definitely between the 28s to the 33s for sure. Um Oh, more than demons. Yes. Because demons is an even buggier piece of shit. Um more than Drakengard 2. Uh, if you look up the Hemero Mansion, you get Fatal Frame uh, insights claiming it's real, despite no evidence. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's go through this one by one. Uh, let's say Dark Souls. Eh. Doki Doki. Eh. I'm surprised. I'm still surprised Doki Doki is this high up. Honestly, Doki Doki is a good game though. Uh, Silent Hill Two. Eh. Danganronpa. I feel like Danganronpa should be higher. Why is Danganronpa so low? Right, the fucking mini games. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, no, this is definitely the area it belongs in. Um. I don't think I could say it's better than Silent Hill 2. I don't think I could say that. I think that's too I think that's too high. Um So probably in this range. I think I would say it is better than Dragon Guard 2 though. So the question is, is it better than Dongan Rampa? Gut reaction, no. I'm putting it in 32. Fatal frame. That's where it's going. Fatal frame. 32. It's pretty good. Pretty good game. Not like amazing. Pretty good. I enjoyed it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. Um, hope y'all had fun. Uh, I did. Uh, how long did we fucking go for this? This is saying four hours? What was the fucking cut point in the previous stream? How long has this fucking nightmare been happening to me? Um...
344. So this was uh so 55 so we can round that up save so this was about eight hours this was at about as long as fucking punch man goes to mad max town um but anyway hopefully everyone had a fun time i did uh i guess the next and probably final horror game in horror month is going to be amnesia we're we're finally doing it we're finally doing amnesia get some sleep oh boy will i <laughs> yeah thanks for hanging out everyone i hope you had a good time i did i'm re i really i'm surprised at the number of people that stayed for this and thank you all very much uh you can thank the english translation team for that the english translation team for the fatal frame thing um but yeah i am uh i'm gonna you know uh relax a little bit and then i'm going to fucking bed uh, so yeah, uh, either Dark Souls tomorrow, or if not Dark Souls with John, uh, they claimed it was real because Blair Witch Project was popular. I remember when Blair Witch came out. I wasn't a fan of that movie. I thought it was pretty boring. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the fucking Discord. Good job, Nanashi. Uh, yeah, so, uh, tomorrow is either going to be Amnesia, or I guess I'm doing Dark Souls with John. I guess we'll find out how it goes, but yeah hope everyone had a great time um oh and uh monday we're doing maids game request for uh uh D digital devil saga so i guess look forward to that too all right bye bye